We interrupt this program to bring you... Hi, hello, it's Mac and Cheesy once again, and welcome back. Today, we are creating a sim for the Astronaut Legend Challenge. If you guys have not heard of this before, uh, you can find the rules for it on the Sims Forum. It was started by Amazing Amphi. Uh, so basically, you have to start with a young adult sim, and they must have the genius trait and one socially awkward trait, like loner or clumsy. I chose the unflirty trait. Um, I feel like that's pretty socially awkward, and I never use it. So I felt like this was a good time to do so. Um, this is going to be Selena Barfield. And I also gave her the perfectionist trait, which I feel will make a lot of sense. Uh, basically, the main goal is to build a rocket. And there's a whole bunch of other things uh, that m they must do and, you know, restrictions, of course. Uh, but I'll go more into the gameplay rules when we get started on that in the next video for this series. And then I forget what her... Uh, aspiration is called but it's one of like the the business ones where she basically needs to make a lot of money or get like a big house um but her vibe that i'm going for as you can tell it's pretty nerdy little geeky but still very bright and feminine i will say uh i don't want to use the term girly because well that's just stereotypical uh so we'll say feminine but uh if you guys have not seen Criminal Minds, or if you have, um, there's a character named Penelope Garcia, and she is very tech-savvy, um, but also, you know, she's, she's very outgoing in herself, and she doesn't care what people think of her, and she's very uh, gothic, but also very feminine, and, you know, she likes the color pink, you know girly girl stuff you know um i know i just said i wasn't gonna use that term but there i did it um so she's her vibe is kind of what i'm going for in selena barfield's aesthetic also um for those of you that have seen my other series that snowy lifestyle that family is also called the barfields and i want you all to know that i actually recorded this video way before i started uh that snowy lifestyle so the the two barfields have no connections i just want that to be known they are not connected not related not affiliated in any other way um i believe i use the name generator for both of them actually so it just must be a, a common result for the last name generator with the little dice thing that uh they have on the sims so here we are on her third outfit uh, as you can see, you know, I'm still keeping the fun, bright look. I love that I gave her colored hair and like these fun, quirky, uh, 50s looking glasses. I just feel like it's very, it's very different. And I like that. It's very quirky. Um, but you know, I still want her to look young and hip. Um, there's a lot of outfits that, you know, I try to, I try to use all the packs. Um, oh, that's kind of cute. Um, I try to use all the packs so that it's not very, like, pack-oriented, um, you know, or pack-specific, but I'll end up moving her into the Eco Lifestyle, uh, neighborhood. I think it's called Evergreen Harbor. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I, I don't know that she'll have much time to go out and party. That is a really strong color. See, I'm so indecisive. I do this with everything, like kaz create a sim and then building houses like they take the longest um in the sims like those are the two things that will take up a lot of your time when you start a new household or a new save or a new challenge anything like that um but this part i love you know it's just like dressing up a little doll and there's so many options and of course it's always more fun with girls because i think it's just that thing where, like, I don't know. A lot of girls in reality, you know, in real life, they they um, have a lot of different options and dress a thousand different ways. But then with guys, there's pretty much, like, four looks for the average man. And then even then, I think every guy has, like, a specific type of clothes that he likes to wear in certain, you know, situations and events and moments you know like their sporty clothes are probably going to be like a tank top or a hoodie or a t-shirt and some basketball shorts 
of some varying length with like basketball, you know, sneakers or like vans and socks. Oh my gosh, I hope they have socks. That's one thing that always bothers me about Sims is um the NPCs never have socks. I'm just like, why don't you have socks? Like what person is just walking out here with no socks with like sneakers or boots? Like that that's just gross. I tried it before and it just doesn't work. I can't wait to play with her. Um she's she's just so cute and I've been wanting to do this challenge for a while. I was going to start it on Twitch, but I changed my mind because I well it's not that I changed my mind. I did change my mind. Um look, I'm changing my mind about changing my mind. Um indecisive at its best. But no, um I I couldn't get the Twitch to work uh with my connection at the time. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take this baby over to YouTube and let her live her life because she deserves to be lived. She deserves to achieve her dreams. I think this one is probably one of my favorite outfits because it's so retro, but still so colorful. Like, look at that. She's so adorable. Sorry if you hear any yelling in the background. I, I don't know what's happening. I live downtown. Um, and my window has to stay open because we don't have AC. So that's fine. That's dandy. And I used like the little, I love the season earrings because they're just so quirky. They remind me of Miss Frizzle from uh, the Magic School Bus. <laughs> it's stuff that she would wear. She's also a very quirky, outgoing woman. We love her. So yes, this is Selena Barfield. And um, yeah. All right. Thanks guys for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay quirky, stay cheesy. I'll see you next time. Bye!